Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to the farm. Today we are going to start on wheat harvest. This is spring wheat. As you can see, we got the Farm King auger set up there on our twister bin, and then we got our gravity wagon sitting there all waiting, and we got our truck there uh, with our header trailer. And we are here ready to combine. Um, I got my notepad here. I'm going to be writing down every load that comes out of this field. Um, I'm going to be writing it down and that way we can keep track of our yield because I would like to um, keep track of that. So uh, we are going to do just that. Now I was doing a little bit of reading here on our seasons menu here and if we look Grass swaths are reduced at midnight every day. Hay and straw are reduced after every growth stage as well as after being exposed to rain. Well, this map does not like when you ted hay on it. So you can't make, or ted grass, so you can't make hay. Um, so we're going to have to um, really wait with our hay until um, you know for a little while here so so far so good here on our wheat yield it's actually not uh, not too bad here already a quarter of the way full uh, after just one pass so uh, I did figure out how big these grain bins are. They are 200,000 liter grain bins. Um, so right here there's 400,000 liters of storage space. And then uh, there's another... I think that's a 500,000 liter bin there in the yard. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that's what that one is. So... Um, it'd be awesome if we could fill these two bins full of wheat, but somehow I don't foresee that happening at all. Maybe. Maybe we'll fill one if we're lucky, but I don't know. We're just going to have to see. So far, it's definitely not looking like we're going to pull 400,000 liters out of this field uh, by any means, but... Who knows? Uh, it does only have, you know, the two um, rounds of spray on it, or fertilizer, I guess we could say. Uh, it does only have the two rounds of fertilizer on it, so it's not it's not three like it requires, or like you know our settings are set to. So. I don't know. Like I said, I will have to mess with that. Um, as for the situation with um, the grass and hay and stuff like that, I'm not really sure what we can do. Um, man, yeah, I just don't know what we can do. It's like, it's a thing like that that almost makes me wish that I didn't even start animals. Um, but I mean, I do want to do animals. I just got to figure out a way that we can do this. I mean, we can't ted uh, the grass, so we can't make it into hay. So... I think what we may just have to do... Well, we can't really do that either, because it's still going to disappear even if we just, you know, take the bales and make it into loose grass. So I don't know what the heck we can do. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Uh, if you think we should just forget doing animals. I mean, I, like I said, I really don't want to just not do them. 
but I don't know. Cause that really stinks. I mean, our it's even gonna go away if we have it in as hay, but it would it'd be a little bit slower, I think. But I don't know. That's just the thing. I don't know. I might have to do a bit of testing on this map. Maybe I can... Ted... I gotta find out. I just gotta find out. Okay, so let's grab this guy here, and we're gonna run up here and unload our combine. Yeah, that just, that really, really stinks that it's going to do that. That's one thing I wish that they would just not have put in Seasons Mod, because in real life your hay is not going to just disappear. I mean, it'll rot, but it takes a long time. So I wish they would just fix that, because I have never heard of your hay disappearing because it got wet. I mean, it may rot, so, I mean, you could put it in there, you know, they could set it up so that, yeah, your hay will rot, but it won't disappear, but it'll rot, so, like, maybe it'll lose half of its volume or something like that, or maybe even three-quarter, like, so that it won't just completely disappear, but it will, like, diminish, you know, like, it'll greatly decrease in terms of amount. That would be kind of nice. I mean, that I could see happening. You know, I could see doing that. That would make a whole lot more sense. But it just... Uh, it's very, very frustrating to have spent, you know, all that time making that hay, and now it just goes away. I mean, it's kind of stupid. I don't know, maybe we should just get rid of Seasons mod and just play it without seasons and just play it normal I don't know but I don't I also don't want to do that because seasons mod is very nice and it is very realistic because of the snow and all that but I just I don't know you guys let me know what you think should we get rid of uh, I'm gonna put a vote thing up in the top and you guys tell me, should we, um, the options will be, get rid of, or, like, not do dairy, or not use Seasons Mod. Those are the two options, because those are the only things that I see happening, is that either we get rid of Seasons Mod, so that our bales will stay, or we get rid of the cows and just not even worry about this problem. Those are the only two options that I see happening. Um, if you have another suggestion of something that we can do, by all means, put it down below, and I will definitely take it into consideration. But at the moment, those are the only two options that I see fit right now. Um, I mean, that would just mean that we just don't have snow, and our crops, they'll all be ready at the same time they'll all grow the same way or the same you know like they'll all be on the same growth stage I guess if that's what has to happen that's what has to happen but I mean I would rather not go that way I would rather you know we just keep going the way that we're going but I just don't see that happening especially because I mean these bales we need to have all winter long we can't just not go you know I mean we just can't we can't bail in the middle of winter, obviously, and we can't bail in the first however many days of spring. I mean, if we kept our bales all winter long, let's say our bales lasted the entire winter season, I mean, that's nine days, okay? But then we'd still have to go another four 
just to be able to get to where we can start cutting again. And I just, I know that our bales will not last that long. I mean, I'm sorry for just, you know, continuing on and on about this, but... I mean, we gotta figure something out. I don't know what, but it has to be something. There is something that has to happen. What, I'm not exactly sure, but something. Something to figure this out. It's all that I can say. Huh, so I guess it's just combines in general that actually do that little bit of spitting out. I thought it was maybe just that gleaner combine that we were using on Newbie Farm there. But I guess not. So we are approaching the three quarter mark. So this end of the field seems to be filling a lot faster. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. Man, this combine is a mess already. So there we are at our 75% mark. Yeah, so you guys vote in that thing up top. Um, it's the little icon with an eye in it. Uh, if it didn't, you know, if you missed, missed it when it popped out. Um, but yeah, just, you vote what you think, and, um, I mean, we have until after the end of harvest to decide fully, um, I mean, I'm recording this video long in advance, so for me, it's not like, you know, oh, I'm recording this a day ahead, and then I can give this a couple of days, you know, whatnot, but I mean, I'm not going to be recording a whole lot more between now and when you guys see this video so I mean that will help me but all right there's another full combine I don't know which is easier to go around that way or go all the way around probably just go around this way that we're going so, combine is filling up about 35% of this at a time. So we can unload the combine roughly three times or so before we unload this. We're already halfway through the video. So we might be able to unload this in this video. We'll have to see. Uh, harvest is one thing that I'm not going to do much of off camera because I know a lot of people love the harvest videos. I've gotten a lot of like messages on my Facebook page and messages even on YouTube of people that you know they're like it, telling me how much they like these harvest videos and you know they wish that you could just do nothing but harvest and you know stuff like that. So and plus I enjoy combining a lot. I mean. Especially with running grain bins and augers. Uh, like my map, there is not going to be one silo system on my map. Not one. It's all going to be grain bins. Uh, and they're mostly going to be like these 200,000, uh, 300,000, and uh, maybe a few 400,000 liter bins. They're not going to be any of these 500,000 liter bins or anything like that. Uh, I feel that that's just far too large. Uh, for me, anyways, I mean, the 500,000 liter is like that one there in the yard, and I think that's just too big. Um, like, these are 200,000 liter bins. I think those are either 200 or 300. Uh, the ones that are sitting, like, right there, I think are 300 or 400,000. I don't remember. I don't remember all the sizes on bins here. So yeah, that's 70% full now, so 
one more unload uh, from the combine here and that'll fill up our gravity wagon and we can go ahead and unload that into our grain bin I'm definitely glad to be um, combining you know we've gone an entire season you know we've gone from spring plowing and cultivating uh, and spring planting to you know okay let's rephrase this we've gone from early spring uh, plowing mid spring cultivating uh, late mid to late spring uh, planting um, late spring to early summer fertilizing midsummer fertilizing even here eventually and um, now you know midsummer harvest we're gonna be you know doing autumn harvest even so I mean just the realism of seasons mod or most of the realism of se realism of the realism of seasons mod goodness I've also recorded quite a few videos today so uh, my throat's starting to get dry <laughs> And, uh, I'm starting to, like, lose it a little bit, I think. But, um, you know, it's, um, you know, it is nice to have, like, the spring, the summer, the fall, the winter, that kind of stuff. But if it's going to mean getting rid of our hay that we spent so much time on, yeah, I don't think so, you know. I mean, it would be kind of sad to be going seasons all the time or you know like it's basically summer all the time I mean that I would kind of hate to have to do but I mean that's what it's going to take if that if that's what it's going to take to be able to do dairy cattle if that's what you guys would rather see then that is what I'm going to do because it's totally up to you guys I am personally fine Either way, whether we get rid of Seasons Mod or Dairy. Um, personally, I would rather keep Seasons Mod. Um, you know, that's me personally. Just because Seasons, I really enjoy. So, like, you know, let's say we do get rid of Dairy, but we're going to keep Seasons. I think what we'll do is we'll probably keep our baler uh, just for this season. And we will bale this straw and make some money off of it um, because we can you know we have to bale it we can't just pick it up with a forage wagon but we can bale it and then sell the bales uh, I'd probably lease like an auto load trailer or something just to make it faster to get rid of it but you know we could sell it and make a little more money off of it or even just leave it here to rot I mean that would be fine too. Jesus combine has like zero brakes. Does not have brake lights. It's kind of funny how the combine is like insanely dirty, but yet the header is barely even dirty. There we are, 75% full. But yeah, like I said, guys, just vote. Let me know what you think. Um, if it's a tiebreaker, like if, let's say, it's a 50-50 uh, vote, you know, half the people voted to keep dairy, or... Half the people voted to get rid of dairy, and half the people voted to get rid of seasons mod. Then we're most likely going to keep seasons mod. Um, you know, because that's I personally would rather use seasons mod um, than do the cattle. So if it comes down to it, where you know they're equal amounts, you know, like equal people have voted for one or the other, then I will pick. And I can tell you right now, my pick is going to be to keep Seasons mod. Um, you know, and then maybe in the future, I'll change my mind and we can 
you know, get rid of seasons and bring back the animals, you know, just on a larger scale when we, you know, are running a little bit larger and stuff like that. But, you know, we'll see, I guess. So, we're going to go ahead and hop over here to this guy. I probably should turn the other direction, but... Okay. <clears throat> Everybody, close your eyes. Don't watch. <laughs> if you did watch, you saw nothing. I don't want to drive all the way around. Because <laughs> we're already going to have to drive a pretty decent distance just to get over to the auger. And I want to make sure that I can... You know, that you guys can see this thing being unloaded once before this video is over. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get that unloading because it is going to fill this gravity wagon full. Did they actually make the sickles? Oh well, yeah, well, kind of. In a way. In a image creating way. Basically what it is is just an image. It's not an actual, like, the model of it or anything. But, we're gonna get over here to our auger and we'll get this thing unloaded. We still have eight minutes left, so... Now we need to figure out, I've never used the gravity wagons with this auger, um, so I'm not exactly sure where we need to put the gravity wagon, but first things first, we need to fire up this tractor, fire it up, put the pipe out. So this is 23,960. So I'm just going to write it down every single wagon load that we fill. Nope, I got to be closer. Darn it. I, again, should have turned the other direction. That would have been a little bit simpler. Ay -ay -ay. I guess I just like doing things the hard way. Not really, but... It seems like it. So we're going to have to actually drive over the jump auger here. Because it this has to be in there a little bit. So We're going to drive around it with the tractor but get the wagon in it. There we go. Perfect. Now we need to jump out here. Bingo! Although our auger could be adjusted a little bit. We could go back just a hair. There we go. Cool! So there is one load of wheat in our silo or our bin I know some people like to call it a silo I and mean, I guess it is in a way depends on where you're from I mean here everybody calls it a grain bin or a bin because bin makes a lot of sense too so it is a bin So after we get over to that corner there, with the combine again, um, then we'll start running it uh, down along there until we get up to a point where it cuts off a chunk. I mean, we are gonna we're gonna cut this chunk off coming up here. So I think we'll just leave that guy right there, up in here. And 
we're off again. <clears throat> so we got about four minutes left, four and a half. Are we seriously a quarter of the way full already? Oh, well, I, I guess we weren't fully empty either. Yeah, we were still probably about 20% full. One good thing, though, is from where the tractor is sitting, all we have to do is spin it around, and we can easily jump on this side of the field, or on, like, this side of crop, because after we get up to where that is jeez I keep missing stuff after we get up to where it is uh, we can because uh, we're gonna cut off basically like split that piece off from the rest of the field just like we have been and um, then we'll be able to just drive across right there so that'll help that or there might be like one or two rows there but I'll just drive over them again <laughs> because that would be the easiest. Instead of going all the way around just because of one row. I should put in the uh, crop destruction um, module script thingy, whatever it is, uh, where it basically leaves like it would be leaving tracks right now in our stubble but the only thing is like if we ever use course play for like a grain cart or anything or even even like spraying you know on the field that would uh i think that would kill any crop too that is there of course you know we could just drive over the same exact path the next time but still losing that I think the combine is already at its uh, full dirt capacity or not capacity but it's as full fully dirty as it's gonna get Sometimes it says here, oh yeah, dirt 100%. Really? This is not the time to do that. I wish I knew why it was doing that. Which I haven't gone and updated graphics driver or checked if there is an update, so that could possibly be it. But I don't think it is. could be wrong, but like I said, I don't think that's what it is. Come on. We just got a couple minutes left. You can just cooperate for those couple of minutes. The straw in this thing needs to be moved forward a fair bit as well. Because it's like dropping underneath of the axle. Well, I guess, well, no, it's not quite that far forward, but it is kind of close to the axle. But it's not, it shouldn't be as far forward as it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man. I would not want to do it that way. That is for sure. Okay, so that is going to do it for today. Um, yeah, like I said, just make sure you guys vote what do you want to get rid of, whether it be cows or uh, seasons mod. So, yeah, but anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. 
Fishers. What in the world do we got going on? Do we need to be in this or something? Why is it not on loading? What the? Huh? No errors. Maybe I'm just not far enough in. Huh. Okay. Anyhow. Um. But yeah. Make sure you check out down below in the description. Uh, I got my PC specs down there, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thank you for watching, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.